Hello everyone, I am Scott Arby. I am the owner of Arby Law. We are an estate planning law firm and I'm very excited to be here with you today. And today I'm going to talk about whether having a will is enough or do you need more. But before we get started, if you have any questions about what I talk about today or any questions about estate planning in general, you can go to estateplanmeeting.com and schedule a time to talk with me for free, either in person or on the phone. Again, it's estateplanmeeting.com. Go to that website, um, choose a time that works best for you. And I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have regarding estate planning for free. So today's question is, is a will enough? And this is something that um, I get a lot when I talk to clients. Um, they come in, they're like, I have a will. Uh, can you review it for me? I just want to make sure that things are still up to date. But that's all they really have. And sometimes they ask, do I really need anything more? And the answer is yes. Uh, a will is a great start. And it's something, a foundational part of an estate plan that everybody should have. Um, especially if you have minor children because that's where you name the guardian for the minor children so you definitely need to have a will in those situations but besides having a will you also need to have other documents because estate planning is not just about what happens after you die it's also protecting you and your family while you're while you're alive and how, how can you do this by having certain uh, having other documents as well the first being a healthcare proxy and what a healthcare proxy does it allows you to appoint someone to make important medical decisions on your behalf if you're unable to do so. So if you're incapacitated or, you know, or if the situation where you're in a car accident and you're in a coma, you know, how are you, who's going to make those decisions on your behalf? Uh, and if you don't have a healthcare proxy, then someone will be, be, be required, will be, have to be named your guardian. They'll have to go to court and this could take time and, and money. And you really want to make sure that the person that you want making those decisions is, is the one doing it as opposed to a court choosing that person for you. In addition to the healthcare proxy, you also need to have a durable power of attorney. That operates very similar to a healthcare proxy. However, instead of someone making a medical decision on your behalf, this person will make financial decisions on your behalf. And so that way, if you're incapacitated, this person can step into your shoes, they can pay bills, they can, um, you know, um, maybe sell real estate if need be. Say you're in in the in the in in the process of selling selling a piece of real estate. If something were to happen where you weren't able to to carry through with that with with that with that sale, then someone could do that for you. Um, so these are very important documents to have. And if you don't have them, it just you now you have to get the court involved to name someone to make these decisions for you. So it's really important to have these documents as well. So basically. Uh, for a, a uh, foundational estate plan, you need to have your will, but you also need to have a, a healthcare proxy, a durable power of attorney. You also want to have um, have a HIPAA authorization uh, executed as well, and this allows someone to receive medical information uh, about you um, to make in, uh, the important medical decision on your behalf. You also probably want to have burial instructions, and that says what will happen to you after you die. So these are the other foundational documents that you need and also possibly have a living will as well. So these are what you definitely need to have. And if you don't have them, you should probably uh, look into getting them, uh, either go online and doing them or talk to an estate planning attorney. So, but you definitely need more than just a will. It's a will is a great start, but you also need the other documents to protect you uh, while you're alive. So that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions about what I talk about, or if you want to get started creating your estate plan, you can go to estateplanmeeting.com and schedule a time to talk with me for free, either in person or on the phone. Again, estateplanmeeting.com. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you know someone who can benefit from seeing this video, please share this with them. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you want to hear more from me about estate planning. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Again, I am Scott Arby with Arby Law, and I will talk to you soon.